Hello, namaste. Natasha Anand here bringing you a video about why self-care is so important to me. So I was recently asked to host a half event, half day event um, about self-care aimed at women, particularly practitioners who work in the social enterprise sector. And I was asked a really, really beautiful question. Why is self-care important to me? What have my experiences been around self-care and what were my light bulb moments in helping me to recognize the importance of my own self-care? And I just wanted to share um, that response with you because it, it just helped me to go deeper into really acknowledging just how far I've come with my own self-care and self-practice um, routines and also it's helped me to understand at a greater level how self-care is connected to really all areas of our lives of our businesses of our uh, interactions in the world so first of all why is self-care so important to me so there are two reasons why I value self-care above so much else in my life. So the first reason is because of my own health and well-being. So earlier on in my life when I was 18, um, I experienced some really intense health conditions, particularly ulcerative colitis, and I had a series of um, three operations um, to remove my large intestine and to get a proper functioning digestive system. And following that, I just got on with life. I went to university. I had this inner strength and resilience that I just, um, I just drew upon, and I thought I was invincible. And I was to an extent, but when I got to the age of 27, having not really changed anything, adjusted anything in my life, having just gone, 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 just being productive, burning the candles at both ends, I became really imbalanced, really unwell, and I burnt out again. And what I realized is that if I didn't change anything in my environment if I didn't change my circumstances then of course what happened to me in the past was bound to happen to me again in some shape or form because that's my tendency okay and I realize that because I have a tendency for imbalance I have a tendency to manifest physical health conditions emotional imbalances particularly at around that time I had cultivated a lot of anger towards myself and I projected that out to the world I recognized that I had to do a depth of self-care and self-practice in order to balance out those things in order to mitigate the risks of getting imbalance or getting unwell so in order to keep myself healthy, keep myself at a level um, where I could function, and not only function, I could be working towards my potential, I knew that that level of self-care and self-practice for me personally was important. And having reflected on that over the years, what I recognize is it's different for everybody. Some of us have a natural tendency towards self-care, self-love, um, the environment that we grew up in, um, our genetic makeup, our mindset, we're all individual, we're all completely different and what I need in order to maintain sanity, in order for myself to be healthy and functioning and reach my potential will be different to what you might need and recognizing and honoring that is really important because there isn't a one-size-fits-all. And right now out there in the world, there is a lot of guru stuff being projected. There are a lot of gurus out there that claim to have the, the way, the, the, be the savior. They tell you that their tool, their technique works and you've got to invest time, money and energy into it. We're going to find a lot of this out there. And there's also this kind of trifecta, um, sort of almost a, um, a, a stereotype of what a, a healthy, fit person looks like and what they should do. And they're wearing yoga pants, doing yoga, meditating, and um, going to the gym. Okay. And I really want to challenge this stereotype. I want to challenge this view because what it's doing is it's it's feeding more uh, expectation of what we should be doing. And if we're not 
oh, if we're not aware of this, then we're just going to transfer that energy that we have, which is do, 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 achieve, achieve, achieve. We're just going to take that into our health and wellness and we're going to have a whole to do tick list of things that if we don't tick off and do we're going to start to criticize ourselves for it self-care self-practice shouldn't be a job or a chore that we've got to do or that we feel that if we're not doing we feel bad about ourselves self-care and self-practice for me is about acknowledging that where i am right now in this moment is okay and acknowledging what I've been through in the past, acknowledging where I am right now and working on myself in the moment, being aware of my body, of my mind, of my energy in the moment. Acknowledging where I am in that moment, that to me is self-care.